<laughs> oh my god. I, I have to say, Strong Man Personal Finance, uh, aka Bed Pad Finance, aka $17 Chicken Wing Finance, is one of the funniest guys on YouTube. Look, I, I, I have to give that guy credit where credit is due. I mean, he is a funny guy. He is very funny. <laughs> I would like to do like a stand up, just me and him on stage. Um, and we would have a lot of fun. Just, just, it's just, you know, it is, he doesn't realize it. I think he's, you know, it's funny. You know, what's funny about him is that he's trying to be like serious, but it's hysterical the things that he says. He doesn't realize how hysterical it is, right? So, like, I'll give you an example. Like, he posts this, this, uh, you know, on the community uh, board, you know, like, like on my YouTube channel, I have a community section. On his uh, YouTube channel, he has a community section. So we post that he's working really hard, like 14, because this is tax season, obviously. This is his busiest uh, season. So he says that because he's working like 14-hour shifts, he gets uh, Chick-fil-A for free. <laughs> it's so It's funny in so many ways. It's okay. First of all, Chick-fil-A is like the, one of the most cheapest fast food, like... I think I went to Chick-fil-A one time because they just opened it with my, uh, over here in my neighborhood in, uh, in Stafford, New Jersey. And I literally think I spent $10. I'm not even kidding you. And I got like an amazing amount of food. Like it's just, it's one of the most reasonable, you know, fast food places, you know, like that you could go to. Like you could go there with like 20 bucks and really honestly get a ridiculous amount of food, right? So it's not something that you should brag about, number one, Okay. Number two, nothing is free in this world. And so I'm breaking his chops. You know? I'm like, what did you do to earn it? Tell me the truth. Come on. Did you give your your boss a foot massage? You, know? you remember the movie Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Where uh, they were talking, um, what's his name? Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta. They were talking about Marcellus Wallace's wife. Remember? So somebody apparently gave her a foot massage. So Marcellus Wallace, the way he handled that was he took the guy, threw, threw him out of full, a four-story building. He landed uh, into a greenhouse. And let's just say he, he developed a speech impediment. He, <laughs> so the thing is, so the point that like like uh, Samuel Jackson was making is just a foot massage. I think that Marcellus Wallace overreacted throwing the guy out of a four-story building. So Travolta was like, look, you know, there's some kind of a sexual thing going on there rubbing someone's foot. He goes, nah, it's just a foot massage. So so John Travolta goes to Samuel Jackson, would you rub a man's feet? And he goes, F you. <laughs> so John Travolta was right. Like, think about it. Like, I'm not going to rub the man's feet. That's disgusting, right? So it's like... There is obviously something sexual with a foot massage. I don't care what you say. There's something that, like, I would be upset if, 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 if Strongman Personal Finance was at my house rubbing my wife's feet. I'd have to get Marcellus Wallace medieval on his ass. You understand? I might have to, I have a house that's maybe two stories. I'd have to throw him out of two. He'll land on grass, though. He'll be all right, but I'll throw him out the window. But the point is, nothing is free in this world, okay? So, come on, tell me the truth. What did you do? What did you do, Strawberry Personal Finance? Did you rub your boss's feet? Did you give him a nice, like, it has, I, I, I imagine it in my head. He goes into the boss, you know, he goes into the office. He's like, listen, man, I'm working really hard. I'm really hungry. I just don't have any money on me. <laughs> I don't, he goes, I don't want to ask my coworker, you know, I still owe him the 17 bucks. I still owe him $17 for those chicken wings. So the boss is like, listen, we can work something out. Listen, man, what do you want to eat? What do you want? He's like, look, I'll do anything. I don't care. Chick-fil-A, it's cheap. He's like, all right, listen, get under the table. What are you talking about? Don't, don't ask any questions. Get under the table. Rub my feet. He's like, well, what are you talking about? I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to get you a free dinner. Rub my feet. Yeah, that's why I like it. Rub it, baby. Yeah, right in the center. Get that thumb. Push that thumb in. Push it. Push it real good. Do, 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 do. Push it. Push it real good. <laughs> See, look, he just does this to himself. I, I can't help but to, 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 to break this guy's balls. Because it's like, look at me. Why are you posting something? And then he goes, he actually goes as far to say, are you jealous? 
He goes, are you jealous that I'm getting free Chick-fil-A? Are you all jealous? Yeah, we're all jealous. I just had like a free, I just had a $300 dinner at Fuji Japanese restaurant. <laughs> I'm real jealous of Chick-fil-A. I'm like so jealous. Oh man, that guy. He's a funny guy. He really is. I like him. I do like him. I have to admit. I, I just... I just wish that he would realize that he's making a jackass out of himself. Like, when he says these stories that, like, you know, a friend of his, a co-worker, had to put $17 on his credit card for chicken wins, that he did not have $20 on him. And then the second time, the next day, the friend had to come back and still ask him for the money. He's like, look, you know, I put the $17 chicken wings on my credit card. Can you give me my money? He still didn't have the money on him. He still didn't have the money on him. He had to go to an ATM to get $20. dollars. I mean, look, I'm not trying to be a jerk, all right? You're all going to dig up. I, I, How could you not have choice? Look, at all times I have money on me. L listen, this is, look, I'm not trying to show off. I'm just, I'll give you an example. Look, I always, look, how do you not have money on you? Like, I don't know what's here. This is just for me to, like, eat. This is, I take money out of the bank. I don't know. Can't even see it. It's like... I don't know what's here. Maybe it's $2,000. I don't know. How do you not have money to buy, like, chicken wings? How do you not have money to buy chicken wings? You're a grown adult. I know people are going to break my balls. I'm not trying to show but This is not real money to me. This is... You know what this is to me? This is food money. That's all this is. This is me to go out to eat every night. That's all this is. I take it out every week. I take out about $2,000 a week to eat. Um, it's like, like, look, look. Like, here, yeah, somewhere stuck in my wallet, there's a $20 bill. Look, there it is. Somewhere in my wallet, there's a $20 bill. You don't have this. You don't have this to give to someone to buy chicken wings. Like, it's just $20. Like, my, I give my kids allowances. My daughter, I think she saved up $400, my daughter. I think my son has even more. I mean, how do you not? You're a grown adult. I'm a certified personal accountant. I write a book. Don't be a broke loser. Don't be a broke loser. You don't have $20 for chicken wings. He writes a book saying, don't be a broke loser. But he doesn't have $20 for chicken wings. I tried to, like, like get it out of him, but he didn't want to go there on the debate. I kept saying to him, do you really not have 20? Then he made the joke, you got me, Rich. I have no money. I got no money. Look, his car is like that movie. You ever see that movie, um, Death Proof? You got to watch it, you know, with Kurt Russell. It's a Quentin Tarantino flick. <laughs> his movie, his car is just a walking like Ty Bob. He's got to get it. Listen, I'm sure, listen to me, I'm sure that you are a sophisticated investor. I'm sure you got some kind of money in the index funds. Just take a lousy 30 grand out. Get yourself a reliable car, even if it's a used car. Get yourself something nice like a family car. Like even what I have. Look, my car isn't a luxury car. It's a, it's a Chrysler Pacifica. But you know what? It's got the TVs in the back for the kids. You know they it's it's a great it's a great family car. They, they play all their games. It, it's got it's got TVs in the back. I don't know if you can see it. The problem is it's dark right now. Let me show you. Look. Wait, let me see it. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on here. Look, you see this? Look. I don't know if you can see that. This each kid's got their own TV. They can watch movies. They can play games. They connect all. They got, they have headphones. I don't know if you can see the headphones. Look, look. They got the headphones here. You understand? I don't know if you can see the headphones. They got the headphones here, and that's all you need, bro. You don't need a Ferrari. You don't need a Lamborghini. That's it. It's just like something safe for the family. This is he, there's another one on this side, but I can't reach it. So it's like the kids got their own temperature monitor here. They can monitor their own temperature. That's all you need. You know what I mean? But it's like, you know, he's bragging that he gets free Chick-fil-A. You got to stop doing that. Listen to me, my friend Chris. Listen to me. I know you don't mean it, but you're making yourself out to look like like a broke loser. And I know you're not. 
I know you're not because this dude probably has got a couple hundred, 200, 300K in an index, in a, you know, an index fund. I'm sure he does. But dude, man, stop bragging about TV dinners. Stop bragging about that you're getting free Chick-fil-A for the love of God. Stop doing it. <laughs> stop bragging that your car is paid off when it's worth $200. <laughs> Stop. Oh, man, I would love to take him out, him and his wife, to a dinner. I, I would blow their mind. I would give him... You know, it's funny. I don't. We don't really get along with my wife's brother. We don't. But let me just tell you, he's a very cheap guy. I don't care if he sees this video because I don't like him. He knows we don't get along. My wife's brother is one of the cheapest men on earth, okay? Like, I'll tell you a funny story, right? So we went out one time to a restaurant, Okay. And like literally, I I, I was, it was it was my intention to buy him the food. I wasn't gonna make him pay. I bought a bottle of something like Cristal, you know, something that was like four hundred dollars. The guy saw the sweat; he, the sweat was pouring down his his face. You know, I ordered like a hundred dollar steak. I ordered him a hundred dollar steak. Appetizers, everything you can imagine. The bill came out to be seven eight hundred dollars. The guy looked like he was gonna have a heart attack. He really looked like he was gonna drop dead. He he because he was thinking that he had to pay half. I looked at him. I said. I tell the brother, Jim, I just say his first name. Jim, look at me. What's that? It's on the house. It's on the house, okay? And you know what's funny about this dude? He came to our house, this guy, many times. I would spend thousand, a thousand dollars. I'm like, like one time I had a comp, a comp from the Tropicana. I, I spent a thousand dollars on food for him and his family. This guy hates us for some reason. He's just a psycho. Fortunately, Jennifer's family, I mean, I don't want to get too personal, but they're a little bit on the cuckoo side. You know, it's a shame because her mother was an angel from heaven, okay? Her mother was an angel. I love her, her mother. I love the grandmother. Her, she has an uncle that lives out in Florida. He's the coolest guy. See, but this is all on the mother's side, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Jennifer's part, half Italian, half Scottish. Um, the Italian side of her family is the best. They're real deal off the boat like Italian. Like her uncle, this guy, forget about it. He used to drive, I think he used to drive gangsters around this guy. They wanted him to be in the mafia, her uncle. He turned it down. He went the legitimate way. But, you know, he works for Brinks. He works, I joke around with him all the time, her uncle out in Florida. The guy's like, Rich, I got 20 million in cash right now. I'm picking up from Disney Universal. I said, this is what we're going to do. Don't get upset. He laughs all the time. I said, listen, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to knock you out. That's it. I'm going to hit you over the head. You don't know nothing. You understand? I, I, I take all the money. <laughs> he starts laughing. He goes, you're crazy, Rich. I'm not kidding. I told him. It's like 20 million cash, you know. But <laughs> it's just a joke. FBI is listening to what, what, what? Just comedy. I'm kidding. It's a joke. But, um... The thing is, like, you know, her brother, her brother, the bring, the reason I'm bringing it up is my wife's brother reminds me of Strongman Personal Finance. It's like, I, I could imagine the two of them reacting the same exact way. Do you know that this guy, this Mama Luca brother, Jennifer, right? Do you know that this guy got mad at me? I treated him for like an $800 dinner. He went, he went home screaming, I think, to his wife, to everybody. How dare he? How dare he do that? Like, how I paid for the whole bill. What are you, nuts? Anyway, we don't talk anymore. The guy's a, a little bit of a piece of garbage. What are you going to do? We don't talk. I'm not going to get into personal family business, but let's just say that his sister is a beautiful person, my wife, and she's always protected this meatball. She's always done everything good for him, and he, and he always, even just, just you know, my, my wife has, as you know, stage four breast cancer. He was never there for her, this fucking guy. He was never there for her. He did nothing for her. Nothing. He's a cold-hearted piece of garbage. I hope he sees this video. Because you know what it is? Sometimes, like, um, her family actually watch me. You know, guy, guy's useless. You know what a slug is? A slug is useless. My wife's brother is, is useless. But anyway, um, I don't even know why, how, how I got there, but... You know, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. AMC and GameStop to Pluto.